Coming to you live from Commons Church, your favorite game show, Know Your Exodus, with your host, Ashley. Hello and welcome to our eighth and final week of Know Your Exodus, the game show all about the journey of the Israelites out of Egypt. Please give a warm welcome to our returning contestants, Lacey and Kelly. How did I even end up back here again? Just go with it, dude. All right, you both know how this works, so let's jump right into the first round. Kevin, you're up. Are you ready for our first question? I mean, I guess so, but I hope there's actually a prize this time, because last time... For 100 points, how many years did the Israelites end up wandering in the wilderness before finally reaching the Promised Land? I have no clue, but I'm guessing it was a long time since they were walking on foot and probably had to take lots of breaks, so maybe 10 years? Incorrect. Lacey, do you want to have a go at it? Yeah, uh, let's say 20 years. That sounds like enough time. That is also incorrect. I'm sorry, the answer is 40 years. The Israelites wandered around the wilderness for 40 years. That's a really long time. Like half of somebody's lifetime. <laughs> I can't even imagine having to walk around in the wilderness for 40 years. No wonders they complain so much along the way. Yep, it sure was a long time. Well, on to our second round then. And this time the question goes to Lacey. Lacey, for 100 points, after God gave Moses the Ten Commandments, what was the special request that Moses made to God before the people continued their journey? Hmm, well if I were Moses, and I had a long journey to go on, I would probably be requesting a giant feast or something. Maybe a pizza party. Yeah, after all that manna and quail, you know, I just really want some pizza. Pizza. Really? Is that your final answer? Why not? Let's go with it. Pizza. Sorry. No. Moses did not request a pizza party. Well, he missed a good opportunity then. Kevin, your chance to steal. What did Moses request of God before the Israelites continued their journey to the Promised Land? Hmm. I remember reading about this actually. Moses requested that God's presence go with them, and Moses said that they wouldn't go if God wasn't with them. He also asked God to show him God's glory. Yes, that's correct. A hundred points to you, Kevin. Yes. Now let's hope I can cash in those points for a prize, too. You know, that was a pretty good request after all. Probably better than pizza, because without God's presence going with them, how would the Israelites know that they would even make it to the Promised Land? They needed God's help and guidance every step of the way. Yeah, I wouldn't want to be wandering around in the wilderness for 40 years without knowing that God was with me, that's for sure. That's right. I'm glad you guys are taking something away from this. Isn't that the best prize at the end of the day? Um, I guess so, but there still better be a prize. And now on to our third round. Kevin, for another 100 points, when God showed Moses God's glory, what exactly did Moses get to see? I don't really remember that part, but I would guess that Moses saw a glowing figure coming out of the clouds, you know, with like a long white beard or something. That's, that's what God looks like, right? Not quite, and I don't think anyone really knows what God looks like. Makes sense, I guess. Lacey, what about you? Do you know what Moses saw when God showed him God's glory? Well, I think I remember something about how Moses wasn't allowed to see God's face, but could only see God's back. Something about how no one can see the face of God and live because it's too magnificent for human eyes to behold. Yes, that is exactly right. Great job. Thanks! I do pay attention to details sometimes. Well, that brings us to a tie once again, and you know what that means. It's time for a bonus round! Good luck! You're probably gonna need it! 
This question is for both of you, and you'll have 10 seconds to write down your answers. The question is, when Moses returned to the Israelites after seeing God's glory, what was the first thing that everyone noticed? And your time starts now. All right, your time is up. Please reveal your answers one at a time. After you. Okay, my guess is that Moses' hair had all turned snowy white after meeting God. That could probably happen, I would think. And Kevin, what's your answer? I wrote that Moses' face was glowing and radiant from being in God's presence. All right, and now the moment of truth. The correct answer is they noticed that Moses' face was radiant. Kevin, you are our winner! I won again. So what did I win? Your prize is a huge congratulations for being a two-time winner on our show. Kudos to you. Really? That's it? Thank you once again for joining us on Know Your Exodus. It's been a wonderful journey exploring the story of Moses and the Exodus with you all. Have a wonderful day. How about we go get some pizza?